Stevenson beats Albright 20-4 here tonight at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark, MC McFadden, now joined by the head coach, Paul Cantabena, on the All Access Post Game Show. Coach, I'm going to ask you the same question I asked a couple times early on in the year in losses. Uh, the, the final score aside, everybody knows what happened. What's your evaluation of how your team played and the things that you wanted to do tonight? I thought we played all right. I didn't think we played great. And I didn't think we played bad. You know, I thought we did a really good job in the first half doing what we were supposed to do, get out and on them, getting the lead, and uh, sharing the ball. I think we did a really nice job of that, a lot of assists and moving the ball around. And I think we did a good, a decent job. I didn't think we played great, but I didn't think we played bad. And it was good to get a lot of guys in and move forward. So um, overall, it's, just, it's a good night for us. We just mentioned before we came into the TV suite that the one statistic you probably will not be happy with is the 20 turnovers. Yeah, I mean, I just thought at times we're too casual. It got a little up and down, and I thought we tried to do some things. And when you get the other guys in in the second half, you know, I mean, 11, I think we had 11 turnovers in the second half. It's way too many. A couple by our goalies. I think Louie had a few. we got to take care of better the ball. You know, we've been doing a great job averaging about 12 turnovers a game, and 20 is way above what we need to do. So that, that was disappointing that we did as much, but we were trying to do some things and share the ball and force a few things, and some, sometimes you can live with a good turnover. Um, obviously, JT, we're going to chat with him in a second, gets nine goals tonight, ties a school record that he had already tied before in his career. But a couple things. One, doing that and, and getting nine goals, I know he was open for many of them, but it's still not easy to do it every time. And then two, not trying to force it, not trying to make it so that it's all about him and he has to get the record himself, something like that. There's got to be a sense of pride that he just kept playing lacrosse after that. Well, that's what we need to do. We just need to keep playing. You know, he hasn't shot the ball as well this year as we wanted. We need to give him a little confidence. And we got a little more, I think, against uh, – and we got a little more today and going in the Christopher Newport you know you score a few goals you get a little life and he's doing that and you know JT's a very talented player and he he needs to know he needs to keep improving his game game by game and I think he's trying to do that and put us in a really good position I think we'll play really well uh, Wednesday night against Christopher Newport but he's doing the right things you know, moving the ball getting the easy shots put the ball away and helping us win games. So you mentioned Christopher Newport, another top 20 team that mm -hmm. you have coming in out of conference. You step out of conference for one more game. Yep. So what do you expect out of them on Wednesday night? Uh, well, they had a tough one today. They lost to York, but uh, you know they're a scrappy bunch of kids. They play really well and play hard, and you know they got a good goalie, a couple good D guys, a couple good attackmen, a middies that can shoot it, face off halfway decent. So it'll be a good game. They play hard. You know that's what they, and I think Coach Thompson does a really good job with them, and we'll have a good go. And uh, we're excited about the opportunity. That's for sure. Coach, congratulations on a great win tonight. We'll see you on Wednesday. Thank you very much. He's Coach Paul Cantabena joining us here on the All Access Post Game Show.